On December 16th, Comet 46P Wirtanen will approach to Earth less than 1.5 million kilometers away, making it one of the 10 closest approaches of a comet of the space age. And they're saying that it's a small comet with a nucleus barely one kilometer wide, but its proximity is making it visible in the sky and because of its gaseous atmosphere, they're saying it's now as wide as a full moon and several have caught images of this already. December 2nd, December 3rd, as the days go by, this will look to get brighter. If you guys got any images on this, let me know, dabu7yahoo.com. I'll make sure to share them and get them out there. But this is a comparison to the moon in the sky and the halo around this comet as it is making its way toward a close approach. Here is another shot of it. And here is an excellent shot of this in the night sky. They're saying that it will not get as bright, obviously, as Comet hale Bob or others because of its small core. But it will flare out and will reach the plus four, plus plus three or plus four magnitude where it's visible to the unaided eye. An easy target for binoculars or for a wide field telescope in the backyard. But they're saying in Cape Cod, Chris Cook caught this. He didn't even need a telescope to capture the glow. He used a Canon 6D digital camera with a 35mm lens. You can see the end of the telescope here, and you can see it in the sky. There it is blown up. So it is visible out there. And it's going to continue to get more visible as time passes and it traverses the sky. Another amazing shot of it here in the sky. And... Juan Carlos Casado gives some tips here as he says, use the raw file format, a fast lens, the ISO settings between 1600 and 3200, and the exposure will depend on the focal length. Now here you can see we're tanning on the 6th, heading up toward Taurus, and this is the Pleiades, Orion here. Here it's moving further north and closer to Taurus. On the 9th, this is the 11th, as it's straight out from the arrow and coming right in here between the horns and almost directly below Pleiades to give you reference in the night sky. And here on the 12th, you can see where it sits. And then by the 16th, as it makes its close approach, you can see where it will be in the sky next to the Pleiades, between the Pleiades and Taurus. And I will continue to cover this. I'm going to share some Stellarium footage showing the tracking course of this and also try to catch some footage myself so if you guys get anything make sure to hit me up dabu7yahoo.com i'll make sure to share that make sure to tune in to underground world news live friday nights 8 p.m eastern dabu 77 i'll leave links below eyes to the skies